so this tutorial is going to cover the text tools. So let's start a new project. Go to File Menu, New Project, and let's put our dimensions in there. For this one, we're going to make it a little wider, and click OK. All right, our board does display on the screen here, and I'm going to select the text tool. So the text tool has a drop down with some other options available depending on uh, what what feature you, you're using. For right now we're just going to use the plain text tool and we're going to click on the board. So this opens our text dialog box and you can see on the board the text is also being displayed so if I move this around I can see what I'm typing kind of in real time on the board. So let's start off with typing the word raster. We're going to do that because we're going to look at these different route modes and let's select a font. These are all the true type and open type fonts that are on your computer. There are thousands more available online if you wanted to add more fonts to your library. For this we can just select what we want. We also have a, a search up here so if you wanted to find a specific font you can look for uh, those fonts by typing in whatever you're looking for. So. We'll select this Futura, plain Futura font, and we've got some settings here so you can change how it's going to be justified. So if you're writing a paragraph with one line of text, it's not going to matter much, but if you're writing multiple lines of text, then you know the justification does play a role. We do have spacing tools here, so if you're wanting to space out the letters you can kind of see how that works out there uh, reset that to zero if you have more than one line of text you can change the spacing in between the text here as well and of course bold and italics we all understand how those work and then we have this arc tool which allows us to add some curvature to the text if we want to do that and Sometimes when doing that, you will also want to add a little more space because they start getting crowded. Maybe not that much space. All right, there we go. So let's click OK and let's see what raster mode looks like. All right, so raster looks very much like the patterns that we did on the previous projects where it is a carving and it's got the feathered around the edge carved down in with the, the letters kind of being raised up. So this is just the standard carved text. Let's go ahead and center that just on the horizontal center. And then let's go look at the next text route mode. So we'll click on the board again. And this time we'll type in outline. And you can see here on the route modes, outline is the next option in here. And outline does kind of exactly what it says it's going to do. It creates an outline around the text and it uses a V bit by default, the 90 degree V bit to, to route that outline. So it just traces around the outside of the letter. So that is going to be a route function rather than a carve function and it's actually going to use that v-bit to trace around and draw around these lines. Now I can select on this and under the vectoring tab which vectoring is always referencing a route function something that where a bit is tracing along a line rather than carving we can go in here we can actually change the bit that we're using to do that route so if we want to change it to a 60 degree to get it skinnier, deeper uh, route on that, we could do that. We also have the ability to adjust the depth. So a quarter inch on a 60 degree is pretty deep. So maybe we should switch it to an eighth of an inch. That gives us a little more reasonable line. But we can change it to ball nose or whatever other bit we want to change it to. All right, and then we'll look at the third style of text, which the third style of text is only included with the VCarve suite. It's not a standard uh, included with just the default Designer 4. 
center line is a add-on that's part of that V-carve suite. And it actually creates a V-carve text. Some people call an engraved text where it is using the boundary lines of the text and then it's automatically filling that in with a V-bit to carve out the inside part of these letters with this nice clean V-cut line. A V-carving is very popular with certain styles of CNC and it also can be a very fast way of routing lettering as opposed to the raster. So here's the uh, three different text examples of what they look like and kind of an overview of how they work. You could even carve this out and use it as a uh, cheat sheet reminder or just take a screenshot of this if you wanted to remember the differences in them. Okay, uh, so now on the next tutorials we will actually use these text techniques and make a sign.